हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आई एफ एस एंड वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू तो देर आर नॉट मच स्टूडेंट्स ज्वाइन एज ऑफ नाउ वी विल जस्ट वेट फॉर सम मोर स्टूडेंट्स टू ज्वाइन इन सो दैट वी कैन स्टार्ट द सेशन फॉर टूडे बिकॉज वॉट हैपन्स स्टूडेंट्स ज्वाइन लेट and because of which what happens they miss the uh, starting part of the lecture so uh, we will just wait for uh, one or two minutes more for the other students let them join in and then we will start so uh, till the other students are joining uh, i would like to tell that um, Uh, don't forget to enroll in our class. And before enrolling, first of all, what you have to do is uh, again uh, subscribe to our channel. Those who haven't subscribed it yet, plus uh, share this video with all of your friends so that they their preparation also becomes easy with uh, us. Then uh, <clears throat> don't forget to like uh, this video and also press the bell icon. so that you will get time to time notification as soon as i come up with any new video any new live lecture okay and you won't miss your preparations because of that okay so here uh, so most of the students have joined in uh, hello paresh good afternoon shruti hello pankaj hello rakhi okay so now let's uh, start for the session and uh, yeah so if you haven't enrolled in our course do it right away so that uh, so before the seats gets full you get the admission and you won't regret it later on because uh, i was getting so many calls in my last batch that uh, students were telling ma'am uh, we want the admission or uh, our counselors also uh, were getting so many calls about it that uh, we want admission in this batch but that time the batch was full that was not possible okay but now you are getting the chance there are still some of these seats uh, reserved uh, so you can uh, take the admission as soon as possible okay uh, and uh, for the further details you can call on the given number the number is 9172266888 okay so you can call on the number and take the admission so here are some more details the course price is given here it is just 5000 plus the duration of the course is of 6 months and you will get 300 plus uh, our lectures plus online test series of 15 subject wise and five full length test as well okay so this is something you are going to get plus uh, teacher handouts you will get recordings of the lectures as well the lectures will be live where you will be able to ask the doubts to uh, me and all the other teachers as well okay so this is all these benefits you will not find in any other batch so <clears throat> this makes our uh, course uh, very much interesting as well as uh, the module if you will see if you will go to our website and if you will check the syllabus i have properly planned the modules because student face lot of uh, difficulty what to study and what to skip and how to study for that topic okay because if you will see english literature is so vast so even if you will buy separate books for each and every topic it is not possible for you to cover each and everything plus there is not uh, it is like ki uh, only 20 to 30% of the topic or of that book is relevant uh, from the ugc net perspective rest of it so you will waste your much of the time in reading which is unnecessary okay so if you will join our batch uh, it will be a benefit for you that you will get whatever is required to qualify the exam so your lot of time will be saved which you can utilize in some productive studies okay so this is another benefit that you are getting here so if you haven't enrolled in the batch do it right away so uh, yes uh, good afternoon kumar joshi good afternoon kajal good afternoon rahul so uh, yeah and if you are not very much sure that um, 
whether to take the admission or not then definitely now uh, if still you are uh, confused uh, that whether to take the admission or not you can check the quality of everything through the demo classes so we are also providing 7 days demo classes uh, in which uh, we will be teaching everything okay so we will start with the session so after 7 days if you think that yes this is beneficial for me this is helpful for me to qualify my exam then uh, you can pay the fees and enroll in the whole course as well okay so this is another benefit you are getting so don't miss this opportunity at all uh so now uh, let's talk so uh, here i can see most of the students have already joined in so uh, this is the time where we can actually start with our session uh so yesterday we discussed five prominent works of geoffrey chaucer who can tell me which uh, basic uh, five or prominent first five works we discussed in the last class anybody can try i will start writing so if you remember any do let me know comment it in the chat box the first one that we studied was romance of the rose second we discussed was book of duchess third we have house of fame fourth we discussed about the uh, analeta and archive so if you don't remember uh, these uh, uh, prominent works of geoffrey chaucer you can watch my yesterday's lecture which is still there on the youtube through which you will get an idea that uh, what we actually discussed in it okay and the fifth one was parliament of fowls so here we discussed about the parliament of birds so fowls is the birds uh, so in uh, so now we are going to study the further prominent works of geoffrey chaucer so another important work of geoffrey chaucer is a uh, troilus and cressid troilus and crusade is another important so it is basically a tragic story of lovers uh, so there are two lovers uh, troilus and crusade uh, who both uh, so they both love each other and uh, it is a tragic story so what happens you might have seen so many bollywood movies which have all these tragic scenes right so for example if we talk about uh, laila majnu or um, for that matter if we talk about ram leela okay so kind of is another this is the story of the uh, two uh, lovers which is set against the backdrop of war during the siege of troy okay so this is the uh, so this whole story revolves around so it is in the setup where when there was war going on a uh, siege of troy and composed by rhyme royal okay so it is composed by rhyme royal originally by hauer okay and then it was composed by rhyme royal so this is something important you should know okay so we will write it down so it's a tragic story this is the first thing you have to remember of lovers who are these lovers troilus and crisseid these are the two lovers and where it is set uh, it is set in 
set against the backdrop of war during the siege of the troy so this is important uh, note that you have to remember uh, then another and uh, so another important work of um, geoffrey chaucer is legend of good women okay so this is another important work by uh, joffrey chaucer so here i have a comment from kumar uh, ma'am practice ke liye test free test series bhi hai kya uh, so yes kumar i guess you are new for, uh, in this session so uh, practice ke liye humne uh, i have put contest questions uh, in our app so aapko bas hamare app ko download karna hai एंड uh, उसके थ्रू आपको सिर्फ रजिस्टर करना है ऐप में तो रजिस्ट्रेशन जो लिंक है वो ऑलरेडी डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में प्रोवाइडेड है आप उस पर बस क्लिक कीजिए एंड यू विल बी डायरेक्टेड टू आवर ऐप वहाँ पे जैसे ही आप रजिस्टर करते हैं आप यू जी सी नेट इंग्लिश पे जाइए एंड वहाँ पे आप कॉन्टेस्ट दे सकते हैं विच इज़ टोटली फॉर फ्री जिससे आप मैक्सिमम क्वेश्चन प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हैं इट इज़ एवरी डे सो यू कैन प्रैक्टिस मैक्मम क्वेश्चन एंड uh, आपको वो कॉन्टेस्ट देने के बाद उसके सल्यूशंस भी मिलेंगे तो so, सल्यूशंस की हेल्प से आपको पता चलेगा कौन सा आंसर करेक्ट है और वही आंसर करेक्ट कैसे आया है ओके दैट इज़ अनादर इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन कुमार सो आपकी वजह से बाकी के भी स्टूडेंट्स को पता चल गया होगा अब कि हाउ यू कैन गिव दी कॉन्टेस्ट ओके सो यू जस्ट हैव टू डाउनलोड दी ऐप एंड गिव दी कॉन्टेस्ट य Uh, so let's continue with the session. So legend of good women. So इसके बारे में बात करते हैं What is legend of good women? So in the form of dream vision. So this is a dream vision again. Plus first book to use and this is the first book to use iambic pentameter. okay this is another important thing you have to remember so now what is up iambic pentameter so basically iambic pentameter is a 5 meter um, metrical uh, feet each consisting of one short syllable followed by one long syllable okay so iambic pentameter kya hota hai ye 5 uh, metrical feet ka hota hai Uh, जिसमें एक शॉर्ट सिलेबल होता है और एक लॉन्ग सिलेबल होता है वॉट इट तो लेजेंड ऑफ गुड वेमेन इज द फर्स्ट वॉट यू कैन कॉल इट फर्स्ट आई एम बिक पेंटामीटर इट वॉज द फर्स्ट वर्क विच वॉज यूज एज एन आई एम बिक पेंटामीटर ओके नाउ अनादर इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग यू शुड नो अबाउट लेजेंड ऑफ गुड वेमेन इट इज द वर्च्यूज ऑफ वेमेन एंड गुड डीड्स I talked about so there are different short stories and this there are ten stories uh, in a section. Okay, so ये अलग अलग दस stories आपको ये वाले particular uh, book में मिलेंगी. Okay, and stories are basically legendary women like Cleopatra or Queen of Dido. उनके जैसे अलग अलग जो भी uh, great women है उनके ऊपर um, ये पूरी की पूरी दस uh, stories based है. Okay. So it is the legend of good women. Okay, so Swara is asking, ma'am, demo class available है क्या? Ah, uh, Swara, I guess you have joined the session late, but मैंने आपको already बताया है कि yes, ah, twenty eighth of March से हमारे demo classes for seven days start हो रहे हैं. मतलब actual class start होने वाला है, so पहले सात दिन के लिए demo lectures होंगे. जिसमें जो डेमो लेक्चर्स आप फ्री में कर सकते हैं अटेंड ओके
so yeah coming back to the topic so this is something you have to remember for legend of good women so legend of good women mein kya bataya gaya hai different legendary women ki 10 stories ke bare mein baat ki hai so kaun hai legendary women jaise cleopatra hai queen of dido hai kind of people aur isme literary term uh, for this kind of poem is a uh, palinod palinod uh, ye jo um, literary term is पूरे की पूरे पोयम में यूज हुआ है व्हाट इज पहले नोड यू कैन फाइंड इट आउट ऑन योर ओन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कैंटरबरी टेल्स so if you are talking about joffrey chaucer it is mandatory that you should know about canterbury tales so canterbury tales are very famous uh, work of joffrey chaucer it is also very interesting so what is this so uh, if you will see that um, canterbury tale is the magnum opus of joffrey chaucer what is the meaning of magnum opus it is the unique um, or it is the most uh, efficient or magnificent work of geoffrey chaucer which is called as magnum opus okay of geoffrey chaucer so it is a collection of 24 uh, stories so if you will see that um, there is question uh, asked in your uh, previous year question paper that what is the magnum opus of uh, geoffrey chaucer okay so the answer was canterbury tales so such kind of questions are asked in your exams as well so you should know that canterbury tales is the magnum opus of geoffrey chaucer that uh, it is the collection of 24 stories is the collection of 24 stories now uh basically he initially uh, intended uh, to write 120 stories okay uh, but uh, he died in between uh, therefore he couldn't complete the whole story okay and uh, so these stories were told as a part of story telling contest so there was so there were different pilgrims there was group of pilgrims who were going to tell these stories to each other Uh, who are moving from uh, london to canterbury uh, to visit shrine of sir thomas becket okay what was the reason <clears throat> so uh, initially intended to write 120 stories but he died so he couldn't complete the stories uh and now what is the aim of this so it is so these stories were told as the part of storytelling contest storytelling contest okay and uh, so which take place from uh, which take place uh, by a group of pilgrims okay uh, who were moving from london to canterbury and what was the reason why they were moving from london to canterbury to visit the shrine of sir thomas becket
so these are the sum of the part uh, which you have to remember because questions are being asked on canterbury tales so this is uh, the background of canterbury tale okay now uh, there are in all 30 pilgrims 29 pilgrims and one will be the narrator every time there will be one narrator and 29 pilgrims who are going to listen to that story okay so they will be telling two stories each while going and also while coming so that was the basic aim of this canterbury tales so there were 30 pilgrims who were going to tell uh, so each and every one was uh, going to tell two stories while going and two stories while coming okay which will make up to 120 stories now uh, it was also that uh, vocatios testimoron so there is a vocatios testimoron in this okay and the opening lines uh, of canterbury tales are april is the sweetest month of the year so they might also ask you an exam what are the opening lines of canterbury tales so you should know that the opening lines of canterbury tales is what are the opening lines april is the sweetest month of the year okay so this is also something you have to rem remember so uh, let's highlight all these important points so first of all you have to remember this why they were going to canterbury and where they were traveling so they were traveling from london to canterbury to visit the shrine of sir beckett so how many so there are so how many stories were completed 24 stories were completed but initially he wanted to write so the target was to write 120 stories but because he died he couldn't complete it and there were group of pilgrims how many pilgrims were there 30 pilgrims were there 29 pilgrims one will be the narrator so uh, they were they have decided to uh, tell two stories uh, each one will tell two stories while going and two stories while coming so that was a, a storytelling contest that they were going to conduct then there was a uh, vocatio's testimoron in this and the opening line of this canterbury tales is uh, april is the sweetest month of the year they might ask questions on these topics okay now another important uh, so now we are going to talk about the important pilgrims who were the important pilgrims so all the 30 pilgrims we will first look at and then we will also see uh, that who was the host okay so uh, if you will see there is no one such person who is important so there are all the people who are very important here all the pilgrims were important so I'll not write uh, the uh, name of each and every character here, okay? Uh, but who were most important, we will talk about them. So, uh, knight, so there was knight, there was squire, then there was the knight's yeoman, then uh, the, pri uh, the prioress, the second nun, then the monk, the fairer, that is a uh, hubert, then the merchant, uh, the clerk, the man of law, the Franklin, then the weaver, the dyer. So, you can see that every profession, one person was present in that uh, voyage. Okay. Uh, dyer, then the carpenter, tapestry maker, the hebel dasher, then the cook, the shipman, the physician, then wife of bath, uh, then the parson, the miller, the mensipil, or the uh, reeve, the summoner, the partner, the canon, 
the canons yemen and uh, the uh, rt site and the last one is, was uh, palemon okay so these are the important pilgrims so now we will also look for the uh, name of the host what was the name of the host uh, harry barley what was the name of the host who was telling this name was harry belly okay so there were three social groups uh, whom these um, pilgrims were divided there were three social groups what were these three social groups first one was the nobility second noble group was the church so people belong to church came into this group and the third one was commoners okay these are the three uh, basic social groups now we will also look for the tales which were the tales famous here which were the tales first uh, famous tale is the knight's tale knight's tale is about two friends from uh, tivis okay so tivis and told in heroic couplet so it is told in heroic couplet okay the second tale and the famous tale is so this is the first tale the second tale is reeve tale so uh, this is also very important so it is the work of mill so he talks about the work of mill and it is the trickster's tale so this reeve tale so the tale told by reeve was called as trickster's tale okay uh, then in this miller uh, is cheat and liar so he is a cheater as well as he is a liar uh then the third tale is wife of bates tale in this uh he talks about sex uh and your alison and madam talks about virginity and sin so they uh, virginity so in this a uh, tale virgin uh, it is said that virginity cannot be considered as sin okay uh then there are uh, so she had five husbands she is deaf from one year because her husband hit uh, her uh, in the head so this is the whole story about wife of uh, beth tail okay so this is a very famous so you can start it if uh, so read this tale at least okay uh then also rebelliousness so you will see the rebelliousness in this story because it talks about virginity uh the story uh, talks about the sexuality the story talks about the sex okay so that is why and presented as crude and vulgar outspoken and boastful bubbling with vitality okay so this story is bubbling with vitality that you will find okay uh then the fourth important um story in the canterbury tale is the prioress tale okay so in the prioress tale we will find the alma um, redemptoris okay uh, and this uh, tale talks about the jewish and uh, christians were against each other and uh, uh, so this uh, uh, story talks about virgin mary okay and uh, this was uh, this also talks about the jewish and the christianity or christians okay so how they had a fight or how they were against each other everything is talked in this prioress tale okay 
uh, and the fifth important tail is non priest tail so what this non priest tail it is a beast fable actually and uh, so for example you might have read the panchatantra stories right so that is the beast fable tales so that is what is tell in it so where um, animals uh, so anything related to animals is talked about so stories related to the animals it is a beast fable or panchatantra story okay uh, so these are the important uh, tales five important tales now there are some important characters as well so first tale was told by knight last tale was told by parson and 22 tales so here i will write it down so first tale was told by knight last tale was told by parson these are the important things that we are talking about right now so there is so much more about canterbury tales but here we don't have that much of time that is why i am telling everything in short in brief okay and 22 tales are in poetry form and two are in prose okay so 22 tales were told in a poetry form two tales are told in a prose form so you have to find out that which 22 tales are told in a uh, poetry form and which two tales are told in a prose form okay so this is important so this thing you have to remember when so these are few of the things which you have to remember whenever you are studying for the canterbury tales okay remember these many things Uh, so now we are going to so we are done with the Geoffrey Chaucer. Now in the age of Chaucer, there are few more uh, important uh, writers that we are going to look at. Okay. Uh, so um, now the third import, uh, the next important um, uh, writer is William Langland. So who is William Langland? So the important work of William Langland is. a uh, peers a uh, peers plowman okay peers plowman is an allegory with a complex variety of religious theme it is a it is basically an allegory with a complex a uh, religious theme this is important then another important work is seven deadly sins Uh, so it's a satire on uh, it is satire on elegy or clergy okay remember this then a uh, uh, one more important uh, writer is john uh, medville so who is john medville so he crossed the sea he explored many asian countries he wrote a travel memoir so it is the travels of sir john medwells okay 
and he also wrote uh, Marco Polo. So let's write this details about him. He crossed the sea. He explored many Asian countries. Then uh, wrote travel memoir. And its name is Travel uh, Travels of Sir John uh, Medville. So basically, it is on uh, John Medville, okay, Mandville. And Marco Polo, who wrote this? Marco Polo wrote this. Okay. <coughs> Another important writer of this age is John Wycliffe. Now, what is so? John Wycliffe is considered as morning star of Reformation. So he is said to be the morning star of Reformation. Then uh, the followers of Wycliffe are called as Lollards. So this is something, this might be something new to you. Are called as Lollards. Bad term used by opposers in 13th to 14th century that is anti-clerical group. Okay. So, they wanted to reform or a Catholic church. So, they wanted to reform the Catholic churches. Okay. So, Wycliffe's Bible is also famous. So, he translated Bible into vernacular English from Latin. So, Wycliffe's Bible is very famous. He translated Bible into Vernacular English. What is the meaning of vernacular English? From Latin. So, it was originally in Latin and he translated it into vernacular English. In the year 1382 and he took 1395 till 1395. Okay. So, uh, this is what you have to remember about John Wycliffe. So, before I move further, I would just like to acknowledge some of the comments here. So, Disha is asking, ma'am, may aapka ek bhi lecture miss nahi karti. Thank you so much, Disha, uh, for not missing my lecture. So, uh, these all lectures are for you. These are, this is the free uh, crash course that I am providing it to you so that it will be easier for you to remember the English literature or British literature in a better way, okay. Uh, so, Yuvraj is asking, what is the level of question comes in exam? Is it simple, medium or hard? So, Yuvraj, now it completely depends on person to person. Some might think these questions easy, some might think these questions hard. So, I would not uh, actually say ki hard hota hai ya asan hota hai. So, it is a medium, it is moderate kind of questions are asked. So, if you are well prepared, then it will be easy for you. But if you have not prepared, then it might be difficult for you. Okay. So, it is completely uh, subjective. Saurabh is asking, ma'am, hame course ke baare mein details chahiye. So, Saurabh, basically this course, uh, so here the link is already provided to you. You can directly 
uh, click on the link and you will be directed to uh, our uh, course details to the actual page where you can enroll yourself and directly take the admission in the course okay uh, so yeah let's move ahead and let's look at another important writer of this age that is john gower so john gower was a good friend of geoffrey chaucer so gower was a good friend of geoffrey chaucer Chaucer dedicated a part of Troilus and Crusades to um uh, to Grover Gower. So he dedicated some of the part, okay, not complete. A part. Which part is dedicated to uh, the uh, to uh, Gower? That you have to find it out. Troilus and Crusades. Okay. To Gower. Then uh, the three important works of Gower are First one is a uh, uh, Myro uh, de Iome, oh, that is a, actually a French, uh, so it is called as Mirror of Man. So the actual name is Mirror de Iome. Okay, so extremely sorry if I have uh, pronounced the word incorrectly because it is French. And the actual name in English, which is translated as Mirror of Man. It is written by Gower. The second is a uh, Vox Clementis. So it is Latin. It is uh, on the peasants revolt that happened. Okay, and the third important work written by Gower is Confessio Amantis. It is in English, it is written in English. Okay, so this is a 30,000 line poem and it is Confession of Sins Against Love. This is 30,000 line poem. Can you imagine how big the poem will be? And what is there in it? It is the confession of sins against love. So, when you will read this work, when you will actually read this poem, you will understand which confessions are uh, talking about and how it is talked about okay so this is something you have to understand and remember for john gover okay so uh, we will stop here for now and i hope you have understood who are the famous writers of in the age of chaucer and also about the geoffrey chaucer so geoffrey chaucer is the key figure of uh, this age of chaucer and um, what are the important works written by Geoffrey Chaucer is also very important. Now, in the Canterbury Tales, one uh, important thing I forgot to mention is the, there were four good characters in Canterbury Tales, okay. Who were these four good characters? Parson was the good character, Knight was the good character, Lawman, <coughs> I am sorry, Lawman was another good character. And Oxford student was the good character, okay. So, Oxford student were the good characters.
now another important thing you have to notice that so chaucer's canterbury tales uh, structurally the collection resembles giovanni uh, boccaccio's uh, decameron okay so decameron uh, is a work of uh, giovanni uh, boccaccio's work and it is similar to his work okay so chaucer's canterbury tales is similar to the uh, decameron which chaucer may have read during his first uh, diplomatic mission to italy in 1372 so this is another important thing <coughs> you have to remember when you are studying for geoffrey chaucer okay so uh, this is it for today's session we will stop here for now we will meet again in tomorrow's session with another informative lecture so please be present tomorrow at the same time on the same channel don't forget to share it with your friends and uh, don't forget to join uh, in today tomorrow's session as well okay and also go and give the contest questions you will also find the discussion of those contest questions um, in the app only okay uh, so uh, till the time we meet next happy learning